Hi everybody, it's Jen from Scrapping Posh. I have another mini album to share with you. Actually, this one's pretty big. Um, on the outside, and it was supposed to be small, so <laughs> I got carried away, I guess. The outside measures nine by six and a quarter. And it's an envelope mini album, and I used a lot of different ideas from a lot of different people and came up with some of my own. It's a, ch a chipboard cover and spine. And I use the Arctic Winter Collection for this one. Um, it's a DCW V stack from last year or the year before. And um, I'll go through it really quick because I've got to get it to where it's going. Um, it's a gift for my stepmom's uh, friend at work. And it's a secret friend, so I don't know if she was. You know, she may have a different uh, background than, you know, she may be Jewish or, or anything, someone who doesn't celebrate Christmas, so I just made it winter-themed. And I have um, the Martha Stewart Snowflake die. I just use this really light blue paper along with the Arctic Winter stack. I have the 12x12 stack and the matte stack, the 45 half by 6.5 on the front cover. Um... I have some crystals, which I think are Studio G Crystal Snowflakes. I have um, a Say It in Pearls from Prima. And then a bead. I got a Joann's. It's a charm, and I don't remember. Wow. I took some blue glitter and put it on these uh, Wild Orchids roses. And then I uh, put... Um, what's it called? Like the mods, well, actually it's decoupage. I put decoupage on top of them so that the glitter wouldn't come off. And this is from the sticker sheet from the, um, paper stack. The Arctic Winter paper stack. And this is, um, some white feathery stuff. And then, um, on the spine I put a tag with some little snowflake paper. And then these are the cutout tags from the collection. And I backed this particular one with more pattern paper. And I thought maybe she could label it. And I also have some snowflake uh, brads from the paper studio. Both here and here. And there's a couple more. <clears throat> so I'll open it up. These pages are made from, um, they're like uh, three or four by nine envelopes and um, I use three and a half by three and a half photo mats. These are the paper tags and all the paper tags that I cut out I put um, a Jolie's snowflake on it so you'll see those throughout. I'm going to put it down. Maybe zoom in a little bit. And hopefully you can see it. Okay. So the paper's really cute. It has fun uh, elements on it, like the penguins, and there's some polar bears. And then each tag, I did not put the photo mats on the tag because I figured she could do whatever she wanted in there. And then on the back, I just left it plain, no paper on the back. So there's actually 12 pages. The, st uh, the paper also came out with, or came with little phrases, and some of them are, um just rectangles like these and some of them are shaped like banners so I cut those out and I popped out of them and you'll see a lot of those through here too I didn't I kept it really simple because my mom wanted me to keep it simple um, there is a pocket here with a tag in it I use my deco punch for the corners on the, these tags and then there's a pocket here with tags um, and then this one does not have a tag in it because that's not a envelope page. And then I made these um, here so you could slide your picture up underneath. So they're popped out at only in the middle. And then cute um, seal. And then whatever these things are. My daughter told me what they were, but I don't remember. Um, and these tags are huge. You can put a couple different pictures on them. Um, another phrase, and then I used a sticker from the sticker uh, sheets, and I cut out uh, 
put it on paper and cut it out, and then I pop dotted it. So that's that sticker, and then the houses in the background is from the paper. Another tag with the snowman on it. So I thought these, this is like the brightest mini album I've ever done, and I thought the, the their papers are really cute. There's a little mouse here. Um, here's one of the tag cutouts I put there. Maybe she can journal. And then this one flips up underneath this mouse. And there's another tag that pulls out. So you just tuck him right underneath there. And I have a whole bunch of sticky notes made because I don't know if she's going to know what to do with this. Um, like, I'll put them right here. Like, these are perfect for a, these are perfect for a 3 by 3 picture. So it's a 3 and a half by 3 and a half mat. So just to give her ideas, if she doesn't already know. Um, and then on the back, let's see, we have photo mats. And then there's a tag that I made into a pocket. And then just put two of the cutouts in there. There's another tag just with the pattern paper on it. I just left this page blank. The pattern paper is really nice. I ended up using a whole half of a um, the whole half of a paper pack, which is 24 sheets of paper plus an additional piece, so I could have the same on the front and the back. Another penguin, really cute. And this one flips up, and there's a tag in here. Okay, there's another tag with the snowflake. The polar bears on this side. Snowflake tag. Oh, and I used my cameo to cut out these tabs to pull out the pull out tabs. There's one. This one was Wonder Wonderland. And I cut it in half because it wouldn't fit on the page. Um, this one says play, and this one flips up, and there's a tag in there. And here's another sticker from the sticker sheet, which there's some really cute cross-stitched hearts here, so I wish I hadn't had covered them up, but I did. And then this is a cutout from the sticker sheet also, or from the 12x12 12 12 paper uh, cutouts. And there's some more snowmen. Love the tag. Pretty paper. Um, this is a penguin from the sticker sheet. Another tag. And then this is uh, the paper back here, and this was all plain down here, so I just put another photo mat. These two tags come out. Like that. Um, and then here's a sticker from the sticker sheet. Another tag. Oh, I kept this one simple because I was supposed to. It's another sticker. It's really hard not to embellish it more, but I thought, well, I'm going to do what I was told. <laughs> Here's another. Um, this holds this in. And you just lift it up, and then there's a sticker here, and then another tag here, which this tag has lines on it. It would be really nice to journal on, so hopefully she'll see that, or I'll put a sticky note on it. And another page with the pocket or with the pull out tag tag and then the last page it's got the houses on it and the back of it I put a magnet um, this is a, like a 3d envelope it has a little bit of dimension to it I figured for 3d um, memories in here so she has a little bit of room plus there's room for a photo there and I put a magnet in here and then this brad holds to the magnet so I only use one magnet because it would have been two dimensional with two um, and I think it'll still have enough hold if she decides to um, put that on if she decides to put a picture on there so and then the back I use that's why I use the extra piece of paper because I wanted the back to be the same as the front and there you have it. I thank you very much for watching.